So, um, let me turn on the light. Because I want to make myself perfectly clear. Right? This whole Westbrook thing is getting in my nerves. Like, for everywhere I go, it's just Westbrook this, Westbrook that, Westbrook this. Was I'm going to tell y'all idiotic fans of the Lakers... I know some of y'all are probably bandwagon fans anyways. Westbrook isn't going to change, okay? Like, I don't care if he's playing with LeBron James, MJ, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant. I, it does not matter. He's never going to change. He is who he is. He's not going to... He's not going to put his triple-double aside just to please LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James went when LeBron James want Westbrook to play fundamental basketball. LeBron James want Westbrook to play a certain style of basketball that he's never played before. Right? I mean, this, the same thing with James Harden. The Nets traded half of their roster for James Harden. You saw how that panned out. Now the Lakers are trying to double up on that bet, right? On that trade, I should say, right? Give up Harrell, gave up KCP, give up Kuzma. And two second round draft picks, or two first or second round draft picks, for a player who's not going to produce on both ends of the floor. Like, literally. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I just now hated Westbrook. I never liked him, I never considered him a great point guard. You know, there was this discussion, oh, who's the better point guard, Stephen Curry or Westbrook, or Stephen Curry or Damon Leonard? I'd pick those guys over Westbrook because at least those guys see the floor three-dimensional ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they're three-dimensional thinkers, you know? Damon Leonard, he's a scorer. He's going to put buckets in the damn hoop, Okay. This is what NBA this is what today's NBA is like. You need you need shooters that can space the floor and that can shoot. You already gave up KCP. Why? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think he was one of your now if the I mean, I guess KCP was um one of the Lakers best knockdown shooters. Gave that away. Kuzma he was etchy. He was, you know, this. He was up and down a little bit, but, you know, at least he gave you something. Harrow, Montez Harrow, again, at least he gave you something. You traded all that away for what? For what? For James Hart, uh, James Hardy. For Wester Westbrook. He is who he is, man. He's never going to change. He's not going to change for LeBron. He's not going to change for AD. He's not going to change for the city of Los Angeles. He could give a damn. He even said it. He didn't come to the NBA to win championships. You know what I'm saying? He came to the NBA because that was his passion. That was his love for the game. He's always loved the game of basketball since he was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? That was his dream. That was his goal to get into the NBA. And he fulfilled that dream. So whether or not he wins a super, he wins a championship or not, it's not going to define who he is. You know, like, like he's not going to change. He's not going to change. And I know this team is going to blow up because, for one, they have to deal with Wessel Wessel Westbrook's salary, right? Now, you think Chris Paul's salary is crazy. You think Kevin Love's salary is crazy. 
Westbrook is even 10 times worse. Why did you think they traded their pick in, in, the, in, in, in the draft? They could have picked at least somebody. But they felt like, eh, nobody's really, you know, worth taking. So they signed some dude uh, 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 in in the, in the, what do you call it? They signed some dude. I don't know his name, but they signed some dude, some white dude. Um, but again, you know, um, and there's rumors that, you know, um, um, what's that cat's name? Um, the player who played for the Spurs forgot his name, but, um, DeMar DeRozan, there you go. There's rumors that DeMar DeRozan is expecting to sign with the Lakers. Now, will that help? Them, probably not, you know. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. I mean, y'all just killing me with this whole Westbrook. Like, y'all think that it's going to... Like, y'all think that... Y'all literally think that the Lakers are going to win another championship. They won a championship not too long ago. I don't think the NBA would be foolish enough to give them another championship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because sometimes you have to spread the rock, you know, you know, it, this, this reminds me of the New England Patriots where the NFL was just shoving them in our faces over and over and over and over and over. Look at the NBA, look at the NFL history of Super Bowls. Look how many Super Bowls they won, you know, like the Rams, they got beat by, they got beat twice by them. The Panthers with Steve Smith, you know what I'm saying? Like, even the Seattle Seahawks, you know, like the, the, like, Russell Wilson could have won two Super Bowls, but now he's stuck with one. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it's just like that scenario where they just keep throwing the Lakers in our faces. Like, we get it. It's the Lakers, you know? Like, a lot of stars are going to come here because it's the city of angels. It's, you know, where Kobe cemented his legacy. It's where, you know, Rakeem, I mean, Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, created his legacy. Shaq, Wes, Magic. Like the, like the, the... The tradition, the 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 legacy goes on. You know what I'm saying? It lives on and on, you know. But come on, he is who he is, you know. He spent his times in in, in, in OKC. He had Westbrook. I mean, he had Ibaka. He had James Harden. He had James Harden coming off the bench, and he had KD. You know that didn't work. That exploded up. Okay. He moved to where? Houston. Again, he had James Harden there. We all know that they was not going to win anything. You know, that blowed up. He went to OKC with Melo and, 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 and Paul George. They didn't mesh together. He went to, you know, Washington. He made the playoffs. They made the playoffs. They didn't go that far. And now, he's in the Los Angeles Lakers. And we all think, oh, LeBron James can turn any human being in, you know what I'm saying? Like he, like in our wildest dreams, we never thought Dwight Howard would win another championship. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been switching teams like he's been switching, you know, dirty laundries. You know what I'm saying? Like we never thought, you know, he would have won another championship or win a championship. Same thing with Antonio Brown. Look Look how long he's been with the Steelers. Nobody thought, you know, he was going to win another championship. But he's won it. Even though I think that Super Bowl was very suspect, the way the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won it so easily, it, it just raised some eyebrows to me. I'm just saying. Like, that's, I'm not going to say that Super Bowl is rigged or fixed or whatever have you, but the way they just got there and the way they won it, you know what I'm saying? The whole, oh, no team has 
everyone the Super Bowl in their hometown. Like I think I think they just won that like with without no ease. You know the the way that they ran through you know Washington and and and, and Green Bay. It was like those teams didn't even give a, a, a puncher's chance. Now Washington did. Washington fought back. You know what I'm saying, but. I mean, at the end of the day, man, it's just it's just media driven at this point, you know. Like if the if LeBron James can do the impossible, you know, what I'm saying now the NBA odds is like for the NBA Finals is like oh now the Lakers and the Nets have to meet up. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, you still have to go out there and win those games. You know what I'm saying? This is not a cakewalk. And the West is only going to get even better, you know? Um, Murray is coming back. Uh, who else? Uh, you know, if they can get help for Luka, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you still got the Suns. You know, I think CP3 is probably going to come back for one more year. You know what I'm saying? You still got the Clippers. You still got the Nuggets. So the... The West is not going to be a cakewalk like everybody thinks it is. You know what I'm saying? I think the Lakers are going to struggle to win a lot of games this year. Knowing that they don't have no depth. Knowing that, knowing that they did the opposite. They did the same as the Nets trading half their roster for, for Westbrook. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Oh, man. But anyways, man, I digress. Uh, you know, I mean... If this shit blows up, don't say I told you so. Don't say I told you so. Uh, this might probably be the worst big three in NBA history. And we have seen a lot of nasty, ugly big threes. You know what I'm saying? Come together. You know what I'm saying? You 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 think about Hakeem Olajuwon and and, and, and Charles Barkley and, 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 and Scottie Pippen. But those guys was past their prime, but still. You know what I'm saying? Or you think about the big four in Brooklyn. With, uh, you know, Joe Johnson and Darren Williams and Brooke Lopez and, 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 you know, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. And, you know, look how that blew it up. You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. And I think that's the problem with y'all people. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all quickly want the next thing. Like, it's like, okay... Yes, Westbrook joined the Lakers, but that doesn't mean that they're automatic champions because you still have to go out there and play 72 games. I'm pretty sure they're still going to be at 72. Uh, you know, you still got preseason you have to play. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, K, uh, like Kevin, Dur I mean, not Kevin, uh, Westbrook is going to have to be more of a vocal point at the point guard. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to learn to play with Anthony Davis. He's going to have to learn how to play with LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it may take some time. They might be on a losing streak, but it might take some time for them to gel together. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let me know what y'all think. And this is going to be a, my last my last rant on this because I can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of stuff I can, I can talk about. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just talking about this dumb crap that's not even going to... Like, they're not even going to make it far. I, I'll say this. They'll probably get past the first round, but that's about it. They're going to get past the first round, but that's about it. They's, they're not going to go far. They're not going to go far. I'm going to say it on record right now. They're not going to go far. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.